Hi, my name is Samantha Garkey. I'm a third year student here at The Ohio State University studying industrial design and agricultural communications. And today I'm going to speak with you about my STEP signature project experience where I spent the summer interning for VPP Industries. And to get started, I wanted to share just a little about myself to properly frame how I came to choose this internship opportunity. I come from a small rural town in Midwest Ohio where I grew up on my great grandmother's farm with my mom, dad, and four siblings. While in high school, I dedicated my time and efforts to organizations, clubs, and opportunities such as 4-H, Junior Fair Board, Buckeye Girls State, Envirothon, Science Olympiad, and my parish's leadership team, which all helped me to realize my passion for agriculture, art and design, and serving the needs of others. Now in college, I'm pursuing new clubs and I'm working towards a bachelor's degree in industrial design and a minor in agricultural communications. Blessed with a background in and appreciation of farming, I have come to recognize the unrealized potential of design's role in sustainability, advancing agriculture, and promoting and protecting others. Although I don't know exactly where I want my career path to go, I know I want to give back to my community by harnessing my passion for design to create efficient, sustainable, and effective systems, products, services, and marketing strategies for farmers, agricultural industries, and everyday small town people. When I was presented with an opportunity with the STEP program, I knew I wanted to intern with a local business that would give me hands-on experience in design and production, and that might allow me to serve members within my local community. With all this in mind, I was grateful to my dad who mentioned VPP as a fair candidate. After some research on the company and meeting with the business owner, I was excited to have been accepted as a summer intern. VPP, also known as the For Sales Printing Press, is a design, printing, and marketing company near my hometown that has been serving my area for just over 30 years now. They offer design, printing, and marketing solutions for companies, big and small, local and across the country, and for individuals. Founded originally in 1990 by Vernon Monin, it is now owned and operated by his two sons, Andy and Mike. Their catchphrase, more than ink and paper, wonderfully captures what they are all about. They don't just care about the design and printing. VPP cares about the people they serve and forming a relationship with them. Focused on providing quality products and experiences, they are serious about putting forth the effort to care for their clients. This, I think, is what ultimately led me to choosing VPP as my step signature project. My primary role during the duration of the internship was one of leadership. I personally oversaw the Girl Scouts Trophy Nut Project and supervised two other female workers for a majority of the summer while working on the assembly and packaging line. Basically, we printed, packaged, and shipped a large majority of the Girl Scout materials such as program guides, order cards, money envelopes, and training kits. This role involved a high level of organization, an efficient system, communication, and planning. It was my responsibility not only to complete the orders, but also to keep records of important project information and report my progress directly to the president of the company. I was a little nervous at first having such a big task on my shoulders and two individuals looking up to me for instruction. However, I quickly adjusted to the role and became quite comfortable in it. On top of the very large Girl Scout project order, I was expected to help with the company's other smaller orders. For such a small staff company, I was very surprised to learn the quantity and the size of orders they could undertake and produce. Anything from vinyl banners, vehicle side stickers, perforated vinyl window graphics, yard signs, business cards, event posters, flyers, invitations, koozies, t-shirts, mailing orders, almost anything you can think of, they do. So I was fortunate to get the experience of working on a very wide variety of uh, products and projects. What I gained. Going into this internship, I had a few expectations or assumptions. I had expected to spend a fair amount of my time working directly with their design team and only a small portion of my time working on their packaging and shipment team. This, however, wasn't quite the way it worked out. I only had a limited role working with their design head. However, I can easily say I learned just as much on the factory floor and during the packaging and shipping process as I would have with the design team. 
I was surprised at just how much I learned and was able to take away from the internship experience despite not dealing directly with the design portion of the process. I developed my active listening, critical thinking, problem solving, communication, public speaking, teamwork, and leadership skills. I became familiar with industry level programs and software and learned about various industry grade machinery and even how to operate a few of them. And more than anything, I learned how a business is run and operated. Through a few key interactions with my coworkers and especially with my supervisors, I came to understand how important it is to be efficient with time, frugal with money, and reliable to clients. When I first came to VPP, I was taught the big things, such as how to use the large industrial paper cutter machine and the printers. But what amazed me more than that was how they taught me the proper way to do the mundane and simple tasks as well. I was instructed on the proper way to tape a box to maximize our time and efficiency. My supervisor even timed me a few times. It was also important to stuff the boxes to an appropriate amount because if the box had too much empty space, it would fall apart or damage the contents inside during the rough shipment process. This attention to detail amazed me and made me realize that the small things truly make a difference when it comes to time and quality. Before and after my shift each day, I would have to punch in my time card. One of my supervisors was very particular about time and money, and he paid in increments of 15 minutes. Therefore, if you worked for a total of seven hours and 10 minutes, you had better have put in another five minutes working or you would not be receiving pay for the last 10 minutes of your work. In addition to this, if you were even a minute late to work, he would dock you 15 minutes of pay. I was really bothered by this approach at first, but over time came to understand the lesson it taught me. I was motivated to show up on time and to give my full effort every day. Paying in increments of 15 minutes encouraged me to look around and always find something to do. Another instance that surprised me at first, but proved to be very good business and design planning, was the level of attention to detail we were expected to have for all of our company's exports. One of the days, the printer had messed up and smudged nearly 3,000 copies of a 16,000 print order. Nobody noticed until they were all cut and trifolded, practically ready to be shipped. Our supervisor came out and wanted us to comb through each one in search of smudges. The smudged ones were all thrown into the recycling, and new ones had to be printed to replace them. This surprised me because in my eyes, the smudge was very small, and not that bad. I probably would have said to send them if I were in his place, but in his eyes, they did not meet VPP's standard of quality. I thought it was interesting to see that despite how important he found saving money to be, he valued the customer and the company image more. From a business and design standpoint, this might be an unfun decision to make, but it is a necessary one in order for your business to truly move forward. Despite the high level of expectation and discipline expected from them each day, everyone at VPP brought with them a joy and pride in their work. Something as simple as printing business cards or event invitations for someone else satisfied them. To me, this was so encouraging. The work ethic and joy simply to work and serve others is truly what I think is missing from much of our world today. I guess the main takeaways would be, the little things matter when it comes to quality and efficiency. Self-discipline is essential, and finding joy in doing even the smallest of things when you are doing it for someone else. As I further my personal and professional career in design, it will be important for me to hold myself and my work to a certain standard. As a designer, I want to carry through with my promise of quality, and I want to be honest and respectful with my client's time and money. This will not just comply with my own moral obligations, but also help me to establish a name for myself as I build my own personal brand and make lasting connections. Design can also be very time consuming, so constantly finding new ways to improve efficiency while maintaining quality will be essential. Regardless of if I work for a company or if I create my own business, these skills will help me on my path forward. Overall, I really enjoyed my internship experience with VPP Industries. I learned a lot and gained experience that I truly view as invaluable. Again, my name is Samantha Garkey, and I would like to thank you for listening to my Step Signature Project presentation.